video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy workflow for users that are team managers or admins in the Field Pulse 2.0 mobile app. So from the dashboard, you can see the jobs that are completed for that day, as well as any new jobs that you've been assigned. I'm going to go ahead and go to my schedule. From the schedule, my preference is the list view. I would like to be able to see the details, so I'm gonna go ahead and expand it by selecting the up and down arrow in the top right corner. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and clock in to the service call that I have. Click that, click save clock in. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and actually click into the job. So I'm gonna click service call. I'm going to scroll down just a bit and I'm going to send the customer an on my way text. I'm gonna do so from the mobile app. Here is a pre-selected template and I'm going to send that off. After I've sent the customer an on my way text, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the location by clicking into the address and navigating. Selecting Google Maps or Apple Maps, once you've arrived, I'm going to go ahead and let my team know that this job is now in progress. Once you've selected in progress, you can see gate code 1234. You can include notes right here. I'm going to go ahead and click into my subtasks. From here, these subtasks are already assigned to the job. So I have already explained the process, I have prepped the area, now I'm going to diagnose the issue. You can complete the tasks, so think of subtasks as a checklist. You can click the three dots in the right hand corner, click that, once it's been completed, hit completed. If you have explained the issue, propose the fix, and acquire client approval, let's say you want to actually click in here, and maybe you want to edit this and add notes. You can edit this description, edit the notes, and hit save. From here, you can go back, and of course, you can complete this task once that's been completed. So let's say you've completed all of your tasks and you notice that you're running out of supplies. You wanna make sure you notify your um, other team members that are associated with this. So supplies are running low. Maybe you want to let everyone know, you send that off. Then from here, you'll notice at the very top, you have all these additional information. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So from here, you can create an invoice. You can relate this to a project if that was the case. If you wanna put any notes in, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, thank you. Done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a line item here. So you will see a list of all of your items in your item repository. So for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm just going to select a chemical drain service. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. If this was all that was done for that day, tax looks correct, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'm going to finalize this invoice. I actually am going to collect payment on site. So I'm just going to mark payment. I'm going to associate the particular invoice. Then the payment's gonna come through. I'm going to select cash, save payment. So, and that's it. You'll notice, you'll just wanna make sure you come in and you select completed. Um, and then from there, you're finished with that job. So that is a very quick and easy workflow for completing a job. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at fieldpulse.com. Thanks so much.